Hey friends, it's time for another Jeep video. So um, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna work on this meat hook. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. So when they did the frame repair, there's just this little spot here that um, will catch you. So I'm gonna put a little dab of welding. I'm, I'm gonna weld this so that it's just close it off. Um, I could just as easily grind it, but I've got the welder, so why not weld it? Um, and first things first, I need to take off the paint. Uh, it's another reason to use cheap paint. So um, next thing's next, I gotta get the power cord over to the welder and get that set up, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so got my welder set up. Uh, and we're essentially ready to go. This is not gonna take me very long, but I'm gonna go ahead and treat it like I treat any of my other welds where I kinda set up for it. Go ahead and fix some stuff. Oh, I gotta hit a second problem. I didn't prep that, so it's real dirty, and that's why you're seeing all that splatter. I'm just cleaning up some porosity that I see in the body shop's work. One more spot here. All right, that's all the welding that needs to be done.
this back. So I've got a big extension cord that I use to uh, power the welder. It reach anywhere in my garage. All right, so now I need to clean this up. So that's what I'm fixing to do. Uh, a little more cord. That's all that needed. Where the hell did I put the other one? Oh, it fell. <clears throat> all right, now a little rattle can magic. Blend perfectly. project is complete and that's the beautiful thing about using rattle can paint I think that's gonna be the name of this Jeep is rattle can because yeah it's a junkyard Jeep anyway uh, thanks for watching I hope you guys found this interesting and uh, this should not catch me anymore so that's an awesome thing um, so stay tuned for my next Jeep project